Hey everyone, excuse my voice, I'm uh, getting a little ill. So Will and I have these London passes, which is kind of like a key to the entire city. Well, not the entire city, but there's a huge list of landmarks and things to do with this pass. Just pay for the pass and you get to go to all these places. It's like all access, yeah. You don't have to pay the fee, you just go to the front of the line. Because if you were to do all these places and pay per ticket, it would be way more expensive than just having this pass. So this is the route to go. First stop is the Tower of London. The Tower of London. So, you had to be pretty brave if you were gonna enter the Tower of London unannounced. One thing that I noticed is that there were lions. They actually found a skull of one in 1932, I believe, and they had archers ready to strike. So you had to be pretty brave if you were gonna enter. So I'm a little disappointed we couldn't bring you in to see the crown jewels. It was definitely a sight to see, but I understand and respect the preservation of history. Such rich, rich history. It's funny because it's history that's continuing. Mm -hmm. It's like they still have a monarchy, they still have royal family, and so all of these things that are being preserved, the jewels and everything, are literally still in use. Yeah. Because there's still a queen, and she's awesome. I like her. The crown was beautiful. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. I've never seen so many diamonds. <laughs> it seems and a little emeralds <laughs> and like pearls. I felt a little excessive, but when you're royalty, I mean, when anything you got goes. It, <laughs> This is probably one of the most interesting towers in the Tower of London. It's called the Salt Tower, which was known for keeping dangerous prisoners. Apparently there was a king, a Jesuit priest, and someone accused of sorcery. Those are just three alleged prisoners that were kept here. And in the walls, carved into the walls, are different markings left from prisoners that were kept here. That actually gives me chills just thinking about how much history this particular tower has. Okay, so this is a little crazy to me. For over 600 years, wild animals were kept at the Tower of London. Well, it's crazy because it was saying that what do you give somebody who has everything, aka the king, and that for a period of time, royalty would give each other gifts of living creatures that were very exotic to this area. I mean, King Henry III apparently had a polar bear that was able to be tied to a long rope so I could go fishing in the river. What? Uncaged monkeys lived in a room where visitors could walk among them, but that quickly was shut down after a boy was attacked by a monkey. These royal beasts ended up leaving the tower in 1832, which ultimately started the London Zoo. The Tower of London actually had a huge part in the First World War. It was used as a military base and fortress where they recruited, deployed, and trained men to go fight in the war. Despite daily air raids, they still opened this to the public for visitors to come visit. During the First World War, only 11 men were executed here at the Tower of London. 
who are accused of espionage. This was actually the first executions that took place within the walls of the tower since 1747. at the tower. Let's go check it out. All right, we just finished exploring the Tower of London. It's definitely a must-see landmark when you visit. Yeah, no, the history and everything that went on there, and the secrets, and- So many secrets. Everything that they don't know. Especially about the two princes that went missing. I don't know, so many questions. And the armory was cool, it's not my favorite thing, but it was really cool to see like- yeah what they would wear to fight, how they made everything, where they kept everything, and it's very interesting. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and more importantly, subscribe to keep up to date with our adventures, and uh, stay tuned for our next video in London. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> My voice, ugh.